Stayallday.com. Brasket. Listen, I want to tell y'all something. This morning, if you ain't following my Snapchat, my snap is at Dre Baldwin. On Snapchat this morning, a couple hours ago, hour or so ago, I was telling people I'm about to run. Just running the boardwalk in Miami Beach. So anybody who, anybody who been to Miami Beach, you know the boardwalk. It ain't really a boardwalk no more. They turned it mostly into uh, concrete. But anyway, starting up here near the Fountain Blue, ran all the way down to South Point and back, and it started raining. It was like an eight and a half mile run. So at about six miles, it started raining while I'm on my way back. And it started raining so hard that for about three minutes, I stopped and stood under the little, if you've been to the boardwalk, they got the little uh, patio type thing. I stood there for like three, four minutes. Just because it was raining so much, my phone would've got wet. And I didn't want my phone to get wet. Y'all know how that go. And my, I had Bluetooth headphones on. I didn't want those to get wet and not work no more. So I had to stop running for a minute. And then I said, forget it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just run. I'm gonna just run without the headphones. I took the headphones off, stashed them away, put the phone on the other side of my hip so it wouldn't get soaked from the rain. And then I just finished the run. And while I was running, you know what I saw? While I was running, I seen groups of people huddled under those, huddled under these little patios waiting for the rain to stop. And why I'm telling you that is to tell you this. Sometimes in life, I did a stream like probably like a month or two ago where I was talking about what to do when it rains. Get yourself an umbrella. Make sure you got something covering you and then take advantage of the worms that come out after the rain. But sometimes, sometimes in life you got to get something done in the natural elements, whatever element you in, and it's going to start raining. And you, got, you still got to get your job done outside. You still got to get the job done no matter how much is raining. It ain't no delays. It ain't no pause button. You got to get the job done and the rain's going to happen. And, and understand that I'm speaking figuratively here. It might not necessarily be rain coming out the sky something some unforeseen circumstance that you don't want to happen will happen to get in the way of your plans the question is what are you going to do what are you going to do are you going to stop doing what you're doing are you going to run and hide are you going to go huddle under the patio are you going to wait till the rain stops so it's easier to do your job and hope everybody else stops too hope everybody understands that you stopped because it started raining now that's what most people are going to do most people are going to stop and go huddle under the patio and not run and what I want you to know is a lot of people I seen huddled under those patios was runners. They were people that was out there running, but when it started raining, they decided to stop running. Listen, is you running or are you running or are you looking for the sunshine? Because if you're running, you gotta keep running no matter what. You don't stop just because it starts raining. Anytime you outside, it might start raining, it might start snowing, it might start hailing, it might be super hot. You can't control that, you gotta keep running. Now, if you're gonna hide under the patio, I understand, that's what most people are gonna do. That's what most people are gonna do, but I thought, I thought, you didn't want to be like most people. I thought your goal was to be different. I thought your goal was to do what most people won't do so you could get what most people won't get. If that's your goal, then you gotta, anytime it starts raining and everybody's panicking and everybody start making contingency plans, you, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you do. You only had to know what to do. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you how to figure it out though. As Soon as it starts raining like that and things go left, different from how everyone expected, go look around and see what everybody's doing at that moment. What everybody starts doing at that moment you do the opposite. If everybody stops, that's when you start running. That's when you keep running. That's when you just keep going. And my shoes is soaked right now. I gotta take my sneakers off probably to, to even drive home. My shorts is soaked. Everything's wet, but it's okay. It's okay. The bottom line is I can see what everybody else was doing. I knew I wasn't gonna do the same thing as them. If you ain't trying to be like everybody else. You gotta do different than from what everybody else is doing. As soon as it starts raining and everybody stops, that's when you keep going. That's where the opportunity's at. The opportunity is in running in the rain, baby. <laughs> if you don't run in the rain, you're missing the opportunity. Money is passing you by, it's walking past you. While everybody's holding under, the money's passing by right there in the rain. That's where the worms is at. That's what the early bird gets, but you gotta start running to get it. For those people who don't know me, again, my name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day. Mental toughness, self-confidence, self-discipline, those are the topics that I specialize in when it comes to coaching, consulting, speaking, writing, blogging, YouTubing, TED talking, what else, podcasting. My website is called DreAllDay.com. My snap is at Dre Baldwin. My snap is at Dre Baldwin. My website is called DreAllDay.com. My podcast is called Work On Your Game. I will take a couple questions if anybody got any. Leave your questions. I'll take them right now. Is I'm taking questions right now if anybody has a question. Go ahead and post your question. Definitely, trade time 20, 25. You're welcome. Can I get a quick recap of the points? You gotta watch the replay. 
marathons in January. We're in Michigan too. They have another mastermind group in Miami. Well, mastermind groups don't really work like somebody just jumps in it. I mean, you gotta be invited into a mastermind group and then vetted by the members to be in, to be included. You don't just jump into one just because you heard of it. It's not like, you know, going to a gym and buying a membership. I appreciate that, like Mike Young. How to be disciplined in eating the right food. Well, get all the bad food that you know is not the right food that's in your house right now, throw it in the trash. That's the first step. What's up, Sadiq from Germany? TBT? Go to my website. I wrote a post about that. Probably about two weeks ago. Actually, I sent it out to everybody on my email list. So if you're not on my email list, well, you must not be because you would have known if you had read the email. Or maybe you got the email, you didn't read it. <laughs> Either way, go to dreallday.com. You'll get in. You'll get in the list. What's up, Latoya? You got the jump manual. That's what's up. Make sure you follow. The, make sure you follow the program. Just follow the program. Don't do more. Don't do less. Just do what it says. Everybody. Snapchat at Dre Baldwin. That's where you can find me. You got a question, you can snap me. If it's good, I'll reply. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the snap. My snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset. Getting yourself seen, heard, known. Getting the exposure you want and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast. We're on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game.